Three B. Three B. Two better, one bad. These are red stabilized? Yeah. How is that possible? Here we are in Bed-Stuy, Brooklyn. We're by the Marcy Playground, the G Train, this deli, and the cutest coffee shop ever. Seriously, look at this little place. It's called Marcy and Myrtle. And the apartment's literally a block away. Look at that, we're like right there. This is one of those neighborhoods that's like undergoing a transformation. There's luxury stuff popping up everywhere. And you got your fair share of these older style of buildings. But look, there's supermarkets, the laundromat, which is open seven days. That's what it says, just not today. Local candy store right here. Get yourself that bleach. And look at this crazy luxury building here. It's got like this weird artwork on it. I guess this is where they keep the Rebel Teslas. Yeah, look at that. This is where they recharge the fleet. There you go. There is no shortage of construction around here. Look, they do so much work, even when it's a rainy day, they still clean the street. That is massive. Listen to them clanging away over there. There's a rich person's house for you. They've got quite the elegant balcony up there. And you know you've made it when you got the swirly plants and the big garage door. Look at these guys, they've even got a nice little lawn out here and a little balcony that the birds like to use. And then there's stuff like this that's just incredibly confusing to look at. All right, here we go. A nice safe bank. Oh wait, never mind. It's Chase. Sprinkles. Awesome. This looks like a little candy store. I don't know what that is, but it looks amazing. And they have it in raspberry. Then over here, we got the gourmet supermarket, which takes up the entire block. Sunrise photo. It's a little camera store. Then we got the bakery and the refrigerator store, which you hopefully don't have to visit after seeing today's apartment. Oh, we got another big clothing store. And then outside over here, you can get flowers. Hours. I'm gonna go out on a limb and guess that this place, the Hatzlaka, that this is the biggest kosher supermarket around, and their treats look so good, I might have to change my diet. Then we got the health market, the closeout connections, the kind of connection you're gonna need to make it here. You can get this full length mirror. Look at that, it works. Buy a mirror and return it because it doesn't work. That looks like the fire department. Definitely not a part of town where I've toured anything before, but I feel like I've been missing out. Purely wholesome. What is this, a juice bar? Then we got coffee and burgers. Man, these mega supermarkets do not stop, but that's okay. I could go for one of those any time of day. But some parts of the city don't even have supermarkets. It's true, something with actual shopping carts, that's a rarity. Can you imagine shopping at a candy store for your groceries? What do you think that's gonna be like? Over here, we got a little taco place, a cleansing and detox center. Sounds like a scam. Glass. God. Secured. I think it's a security company. I love this. It's called the nice and clean laundromat. And look, the hours are covered up. They've changed, but the sign didn't. That's how you know they got low prices. Then there's like a bunch of little restaurants and these are all right next to the building, which is on the next corner. Cookies could literally be anything. But then look at this, we got ourselves a little clothing store. I don't know if it's a vintage clothing store. Oh wait, it says it's a diner. Okay, we have a Japanese deli and bakery. This is like the number one sports drink there. My wife's Japanese, I've been five times. And the coolest thing about this place is that it's like literally door to door, which means if you can resist the temptations of this candy store and the Dwayne Reed that's in the building, you're gonna be in for a treat. Are we gonna save some money today and get something big? We're gonna save a lot of money. We're gonna get a great, huge apartment. All these apartments are massive. Let's do it. Full-time doorman? Full-time. How are you? I like your tree. Look at this, we have a full gym. I like the upholstery on the equipment. It makes look, working out look like it will be less painful, which is a lie. Weights, weights, weights. What's this, 50 pounds? Dude, this parking garage is huge. Is there a fee for this? Yes, uh, it's 250. 
And the whole thing is completely indoor. It's not an open yeah. air. Yeah. Do you have to pay for the bike storage? Nope. How about the microwave storage? That goes for free. That's for free. Yeah, awesome. You a, whenever you move in, you take an extra one. How about that high-tech monitor right there? Have that, whether you want the apartment or not. <laughs> <laughs> so there's a couple of these roof decks. We have one on the sixth floor. Okay. We're on the fifth floor right now. And they're all kind of like this with some furniture, a little yes. bit of a view. How many square feet do you think this is? This one about 900, 950 maybe. Two bedroom, one bathroom, private balcony, 42. 42? Yeah. Well, we'll make, it, we'll make it offer. I pay four and my apartment is like half the size. Okay, yeah, don't make it offer. Make it, let's pay more than. I hate you. <laughs> storage in here. Oh, look at Massive that. Massive storage. Look at this. Rent yeah. that out. $1,000 right there. Then we have the bathroom. No power because someone vacated. But look, you can tell this is a high-end finish inside the bathroom itself. Big mirror, vanity lights. Brand new laundry and units. Oh yeah, this is brand new. Look, you still okay. got the tape. Samsung. Gotta be in a walk-in pantry, I guess. I feel like there's more space in this apartment than you'd normally expect in New York City. Oh yeah, it's massive. Massive fridge, cabinets that are guest friendly so they don't have to rummage through all your stuff. Dishwasher. I like the design of this too. You could get like stools all the way around this thing. This has to be the biggest oven that I've seen in a rental in a while. One, two, three, four, five. That's that's six burrs. The main room here could be like a big eat-in kitchen area. I've seen a huge kitchen table in here, living room space, big TV. And then we've got the separate den over here by the balcony. Big heaters and ACs everywhere. We have an actually usable balcony. This will fit tables and a few chairs. Plus the door swings out that way. This is super accessible and there will be leaves on that tree in the future, I promise. And you can look at this interesting Dr. Seuss house. Bedroom, king size. For perspective, this is 15 feet by 10 feet. I like the little bed nook, that's perfect. The other bedroom's on the other side. Do it more queen size, but it has also a huge closet. To me, it's a walk-in closet, but your mileage may vary. I like how you can see the Dr. Seuss house from all yeah. the windows. You say it's a little bit funky. Super height. This stuff, I don't care where you're living, that is what goes on the walls. All these floors are getting redone, and this is all going to look pristine when, when they finish. Oh yeah, that's what this apartment dust is. Uh, this one is 51. 51. Three bed, one bath or two? Two bath. Where are they hiding the laundry? There will be laundry in here. Okay. This first area right here, this is our kitchen. So again, if you don't go with breakfast stools here, you could have a big table in the corner. That's probably what's gonna go there. Oh, do these fully oh, yeah. open? Yeah, these Oh, look at that. You can jump right out of there. You can escape like Spider-Man and save the world. Big bus. But seriously, most luxury apartments, you cannot open the window. So many of them, it's like, it opens like a crack or a half. But this is the whole thing right there. Look at that. This is 16 feet by 14 feet. Are we supposed to call it a great room? Is that what it is? Is it a great room? Something like that. It's huge. But think of the size of TV you could have in here. You could definitely get a couple of couches. AC number one, AC number two. And if it were clear out, you would be able to see Midtown Manhattan. But right now you can just see the candy store. What is this hole for? Uh, whatever you want. Could be your small child. Could okay. Be your microwave. But everything else here is the same. We got the fancy sink with the sprayer. Lots of counter space that's very nice. Same guest friendly cabs. Now, like most multi person apartments, we've got several rooms two medium rooms, one big room. Huge. Oh man, look at that. Everything's oversized in these apartments. Okay, this is the smallest room and it's still over 100 square feet. Great view again, very sunny. Bed could go by the ladder or here. How's the closet? Oh, it's deceptively small looking, but it's big inside. This is the winner. King side bedroom. Don't touch the walls, they're all wet. Okay, oh, that's why there's the tarps and stuff. Yeah. Dude, every closet is like a two-person closet. Oh, yeah, we can, we can bring more people in here. The closet space here just does not stop. Absolutely love it. This here, bathroom number two, it is full size. Water pressure is incredible. Mirror, shower door opens completely. Believe it or not, that is a feature here in New York.
Dude, you saved the best for last. Oh yeah. What's and the power's on here. I know, what's the rent on this? This is uh, 37. Too bad or too bad. I think I like the layout here the best. Look at this living room. This is almost 20 feet. Really good view. You can see the basketball courts in the park. I'm noticing the AC itself. This is newer, a little bit more modern. But as far as the setup, you could get a couple of chairs under this. That's about it. TV on the wall, a uh, little coffee table, couch. The doorman call you in. Oh yeah? Oh yeah, there's a doorman here. Hello. It's uh, the newest version of the iPhone, the <laughs> GF1MDK. The problem with these is they only light up when someone calls you. Unit, again, brand new. Oh, look at that, they stuck it in here sideways. We got them same beautiful machines. Why is there internet stuff up there? You see that? The internet, you don't have internet until the uh, washer is running. <laughs> These are rent stabilized? Yeah. I didn't know that. Rent stabilized. So after you rent this big, beautiful apartment, the landlord can't just come in and say, hey, it's $6,000 next year. I think that stability of not feeling like you're moving into a situation that can't last as long as you might need it to, I think that's the best part. And the bedrooms here are both absolute home runs as well. This is definitely the larger of the two. It's almost 20 feet long. If you include the little hallway, king bed, new AC. Walk-in closet here as well. This is a much bigger shower than it might have appeared. In fact, there's almost as much room in here as could be used for like a tub. But that shower is probably the right idea over here. Pedestal sink. So maybe not a lot of bathroom storage underneath it. There's a towel rack, hand towel holder, towel hook. It's almost like normal people designed this place. Then we got the smaller room, which still looks massive. I'm just blown away by the size. Again, maybe it's not the flashiest place, but you're getting the most apartment possible. And these apartments are nice and well taken care of where it really matters, which is pretty much everywhere. Dude, thank you so much. Great spots. I'll put Dominic's info below if you want to hear some good jokes while seeing some <laughs> big places. Subscribe if you had fun. I'll see you in the next video.